Hey everyone, it's Amy and Jeff from Our Crazy RV Life. We went to Orla uh, Thousand Trails in Orlando today um, to meet our friends Dee and Mike, uh, who were graciously giving us a uh, TV that they were no longer using. And we decided to do some exploring while we were up there. Taking a look at uh, Thousand Trails Orlando and see what they have to offer. See what the park's like, and you know, if we eventually make it up there, see if it's worth staying. In. And we were also curious to see if COVID-19, aka coronavirus, had affected um, the number of people staying there. Um, if people have started leaving. Um, and you'll see as the video goes on what we found. The line you saw going in um, was just the 12 o'clock um, check-in line. They had it cleared out pretty darn fast. Oh yeah, it did look like there were very many people wanting to get in at this time right now. So as you can see, we're sort of scrolling through here and... Uh, this is the uh, first part of the uh, of the park. You know, a lot of there's quite a few open spaces here and there, but uh, uh, the, everything's just sort of packed in there. You know, very close quarters on a lot of these spaces, and um, not a lot of shade up here in the front part. But you'll see. As we get towards the back part, there's a lot of shaded areas back there. So this is the lake uh, at the back part um, closest to Loop D. Um, and this place is it's so pretty back here. Very peaceful, very tranquil. Nice little area back here. I mean, it, it was just a beautiful day to, to shoot the video. and It was a nice day to decompress. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Given all the stress that's going on with everything that's happening. Mm -hmm. But um, unfortunately, we don't have much audio uh, on this video because... Uh, the wind corruption. It was pretty breezy and we don't have unfortunately uh, an external mic and a uh, wind guard yet for our camera. That will be coming soon. <laughs> but as you can see by the video, I mean it, it was just no wind but... No wind? What are you talking about? Well... It, it was pretty breezy. Yeah, a little breezy, but the water was pretty calm. You could see the clouds in that in the water, so. So, we're going to continue our little drive here. <laughs> and we'll let you listen to our audio on the video now. So I wouldn't mind somewhere back here. Huh? I wouldn't mind somewhere back here. A little more secluded. Mm 
few more trees over the back side of the cabin. Uh -huh. The speed limit back here is five. What do you mean personal? <laughs> Look in your mirror, buddy. In fact, that's what he's doing. He's turning around so they can get into that site. Uh, I'm gonna pull in there so he can get by us. Actually, I'm gonna back in there. Oops. us weird. I think she was trying to place us. Um, this 
this is nice. I like this back here. That would be a beautiful site right there. So yeah, that was too funny with the miles and smiles. <laughs> Didn't recognize him from the front. <laughs> had, to look, had to look at the back end in order to see him, so you know. <laughs> yeah, we just met them at Deep Creek uh, last time we were down there. So anyway, yeah, we really like Section D um, at Thousand Trails Orlando. It um, is more secluded. It's a lot more like Peace River. Uh, it's just well, feels quaint. Offers, more quaint. Offers a lot more shade, too. Yeah. So, so this is just on our way out of uh, Section D, out to the main part of the park, and on our way out of the park. And as you can see, there's the cabins off to, off to our left mm -hmm. that you can rent. And then up comes the new construction that, yep. that they're doing, the new sites that they're putting in. Putting in a whole new section, all concrete slabs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think those slabs look a little small, but, you know, I could be wrong. And then I guess you got the clubhouse area. Uh, one of the pools. One of the pools. They got tennis courts. And, uh, horseshoe. Horseshoe. Pits, and, yeah. and that up there, so... It's, it's, it looks like a nice area up there. There's a lot of stuff to do. A lot of stuff to do. Mm -hmm. So, on our way out, we decided, um, now, Disney World is supposed to close, well, not supposed to, it will be closing tomorrow, Monday, March 16th. So, we decided to drive over that way and see what the crowds look like uh, trying to get into the park today. It's still peak season for Walt Disney World season. Um, a little towards the tail end of it, but it's still considered peak season. This is the emptiest I have ever seen the roads going into the parks. And especially when we were coming up, uh, we noticed that there was not a lot of uh, traffic coming up to uh, uh, Thousand Trails Orlando anyways I mean it, it just yeah the, the whole the whole area seemed um, hushed compared to what it normally is um, I mean this is an early afternoon Sunday afternoon and these roads are usually bustling um, and as you can see by as we're entering the the main gate area, Walt Disney World. There, I mean, there's just there's, like yeah, it's like a nothing. ghost town. Now it gets a little bit busier as we get closer to the um, ticket gates, the the toll gates or whatever you call them, the parking tolls. Um, but a lot of that, I think, was still employee traffic. Um, I don't know for sure, but I don't know. It just didn't seem you can definitely tell something's happening. I have never seen it this quiet. It's it's not even that quiet in the middle of summer during their off season. It was just it was almost eerie feeling. And it's it feels eerie just watching this. So here we come up to uh, some of the location signs, uh, the directional signs. So you'll see how close we are to the actual gates. And as you can see, the further we go, the, the lonelier it seems to look. I mean, there's just nothing. Nobody. I mean, there might be a few stragglers that have maybe tried to come in for last minute uh, on this final weekend, but from what I can see, that I don't know, it just looks pretty dead. So the traffic is actually starting to pick up a little bit more because you've got main arteries converging into one 
So I think there's like three arteries that come together right up here. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, you, you, I mean, you're this is that big solar field. They've got two big solar fields here that power a lot of the parks, and I think there are more surrounding the parks. Yeah, there are. I mean, it's nice to see that they're utilizing uh, solar to help hold down maybe some of their costs on that, but, you know. Something else that we realized, too, you'll start to see glimpses of the monorail um, track to the right. Um, and you, as you drive down this road, it's common to see one or two trains pass you. Um, going down the track, we saw not one monorail the entire time uh, we were on the road, which is so unusual. So I don't know if they shut that down because of the close quarters that the monorail represents, um, you know, due to the coronavirus. It would make sense if they did. Yeah, it would, yeah. I mean, try to pack everybody into a, into a monorail yeah. like that. I mean, yeah, that'd be like trying to put them into an elevator. That'd be worse than flying in an airplane. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, so up here, um, we since we didn't want to actually pay to get into the park, <laughs> we decided to take the exit for Fort Wilderness and go around the park that way. But, you see, we're going right underneath the monorail track, and... It's just so unusual not to see any activity on those tracks. I mean, it's good that Disney's being proactive about it and uh, actually closing down. I think it is. I think there's only one other time that they had closed the park down, and I can't remember what it was for. It was the oh the. I mean, for any length of time. Um, it was after one of the hurricanes, wasn't it? It could have been, yeah. I mean, that probably might, might have been. For oh, and after 9-11. I don't think they I th think they were closed for a while after 9-11. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know those facts for mm -hmm. sure. Don't quote me on those. So, we went around past Fort Wilderness and around through the production areas um, to get to uh, U.S. Route uh, 17 to get back to Wachula. Now for the bloopers. <laughs> this is what not to do with and a camera. <laughs> don't yell at me later. <laughs> and don't ask me what I did because I have no idea. But I think I was filming. <laughs> What I was filming, I do not know. <laughs> but I was filming. <laughs> this was all at the lake. This was all footage of the lake that we could have shown you. <laughs> Past tense. Could have. <laughs> and you'll see a nice long white stretch here as to, I don't know. Please don't ask. I don't know. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. So here's your comic relief for your, your stressful day. <laughs> and there's me. There's it, part of me. There's Yeah, there's part of you. There's my shirt. You know, I was wearing a nice red shirt that day. And there's, you know, turn your head sideways, it looks good. <laughs> turn it the other way, it looks better. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> All right, everybody. Now that you've had your giggles, make sure to subscribe, click that bell, like, comment, and share. And we'll see you next week.